Hey guys, uh, here I have a HP G62 laptop and we'll be changing the keyboard on this. This is a little different from the Acer we worked on before. The Acer I didn't need a screwdriver, all I needed was a flat butter knife, plastic knife. Uh, on this one we're changing the keyboard because it died. Some keys work, some don't, so we're assuming that it's a keyboard issue. Here's the replacement, and I got this on eBay like for $18. Uh, first, you gotta do is you have to unplug your laptop, and you have to remove your battery so there's no power in it, prevent any short, any damage to the unit. Uh, once in a while, I forget to do this, but I would press the key or power button on so it could drain any power in the system. Now, you take uh, your screwdriver, your small Phillips, and you're going to see on the bottom of the key, on the laptop, you're going to see like very small keyboards printed in various locations. This is telling you that there are screws holding the keyboard. So I have one, two, three, four, five that are very visible, and I have one that's hidden. Okay, we're going to take these five screws out. It's important to know which one's which because they have different length. Uh, this one here, oh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but from there, the one is longer than the other. Okay, there's number two, three. Number four <clears throat> and number five. And this one's being tough. You want to come out, so we're going to shake it out. There we go. It's right there. Number five. Now, on this one, is a compartment. It says it has a memory and the Wi-Fi card. So you gotta take that compartment off. On this one here, I believe the screws might not come out. They get stuck to the embezzlement. The embezzlement. <laughs> to the bezel or the cover. I don't know what it's called. I'm not professional. I just call it. Okay. and then right in the middle there it is it has the same thing a little keyboard all right so you have one two three four five six screws now we can take it out we'll take the plastic but not, I love this tool very economical and you're going to stick it underneath the key and you're going to pry it. Uh, let's see what's a good spot. Here. There you go. Ugh. And you're going to release the cable. And this is the old one. Here goes the replacement. Don't touch any metal again to try to take any static. I'm sure I've done that at the beginning of the video, but I forgot to tell you that. And it's a pretty good replacement, almost the same, exactly the same thing. Face it the way it goes. Put the wires back in. The wires, the cable. 
I'm gonna go the normal way. No lock. This is always a fun part for me. Okay, was, and you can see we got a plane, a plane flying by. Ignore that. This is New York City, so there's a lot of noise. I'm amazed I have no noise right now, but it's usually a lot more noise than that. Light it in. Okay. The keyboard. And then you reverse process your screw. You go back to the center screw of the keyboard. We put it right in. Uh, okay. We put this cover back on. is in, you tighten your secure your screws. And then you put the other screws. Make sure you put the right one because if they're too long and they're in a short way, they're gonna hit something, gonna either gonna break something or short something out. When you put power to it, so remember the little ones go where the batteries were, and the longer ones go on the outside. And two. Okay, and we got two big ones here. That's how you replace your keyboard. There is an HP G62 347NR, and my keyboard replacement part was uh, in case you need to get a part number. Wow, a lot of numbers here. Uh, it's a uh, wow, I don't know what to tell you. It's a AEAX. 6U00010. And you can just look it up by the manufacturer's uh, model number, which is a HP again, G62 347NR. I hope this video was helpful. Take care now.